So Emma, things looked very optimistic for CanSino, its virus vaccine, just a few months ago. How has that really kind of unravelled? Yeah, indeed. CanSino was the first company in the world to start testing its COVID vaccine candidate on humans and to publish that data. The stock soared accordingly and there was a lot of talk about the startup, which was set up uh, by, by Chinese returnees in the city of Tianjin about it being China's sort of great white hope in the race for, for a vaccine. Now, their candidate is also being developed with the Chinese military. So CanSino had this foot in both camps, which is also appealing to investors. You know, the Chinese state backing it, but then also this Western scientific establishment link. But things have, have soured since then. First, some of their results weren't as promising as some of the other initiatives out there from the likes of Moderna and the, the much-vaunted Oxford uh, AstraZeneca candidate. And then CanSino's tie-up with Canada. It's got a partnership with the Canadian government's main research agency and long ties, actually, with Canada. That's where the can comes from in their name. That really started to become a liability. So what's held it up on the geopolitical front? Well, CanSino was supposed to send uh, the vaccine candidate that it's developed to Canada for these crucial phase three trials. This is basically the last stage of trials that a vaccine goes through. They're typically very extensive, can take some time. The aim is to, to test the candidate on a lot of different types of people and really iron out any deficiencies to, to see if they really work. Um, but the vials of vaccine, they never they never got out of China because Beijing didn't approve uh, the, the, the shipping of the shipments. Of course, that triggered a lot of speculation about the vaccine becoming the victim of, of geopolitics. We've got Sino-Canadian relations at an all-time low, of course, after the arrest of Huawei's CFO. Uh, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, he's weighed in. He's called the situation unfortunate. And it does mean that CanSino loses out on that trial cooperation and that real input from the Canadian side. And it means that they've had to seek out other phase three trial locations, really putting them behind other firms that, that are already really embarking on that stage.